Hello and welcome to a quick Alice user question video. So I've been getting a lot of questions about where did the properties go in Alice 3, so I just wanted to do a quick video on where they went. Uh, I had done a video on collisions that used properties, and after uh, some of the early versions of Alice 3.1, they m deleted the properties tab. And then I had done another video um, on using properties in the classroom series. And again, the properties tab is deleted. So uh, let's quick show you where it is. So this is an early version. This is Alice 3.1.37. Here we have procedures, functions, and properties. Over here, we have Alice 3.1.81. And here we only have procedures and functions. The properties tab is gone. Now, a quick note, the all properties in Alice are yellow. So all of these are properties. The camera is actually a property. It's just a, a value. It's something that's saved. So procedures and functions, they do something. Procedures like move, place something somewhere, turn, roll, that's doing something to an object. Functions, they get a value or they set a value. So like uh, get something from the user, get the distance from one thing to another, grab the location of, a, of an object or get vehicle, see if it's colliding. It's checking. So procedures do something, functions check something, and properties, properties are just values. They're like uh, numbers like one, two, or three, or a property could actually be a character, like this camera is a property. They're, they're physical things. Um, it could be a, a text, uh, like, like words. But uh, in any case, procedures do something, functions check something, properties are something. So because these two are doing something, they're, uh, they're linked together, but properties are kind of their own thing. So the creators of Alice actually moved properties up into this the scene uh, tab. Down here at the bottom we have procedures, functions, and properties. These are the properties that are created by the program, and these are the unmanaged properties. And then uh, the individual properties would be here. So if we hit on quadruped, or if we hit add quadruped property, that's where we would go to add it to specific objects. So Anyway, let's add a scene property, or a property that will be available to all the different characters in our scene. We're going to add a property, so first we set the value, in this case we'll just set a whole number. We'll give it a name such as my first property, and then we'll give it a value, for example 1. Click OK, and we've created this property down here. Now, once we've created the property, how do we access it? So, go into my first method, and then go into scene setup, and just drag a character in. For example, Billy Goat. Click OK. He is now added into our scene. Uh, now let's go back to editing code. So we have our Billy Goat character. How does he access that property we just created? Well, first, we're going to go into this. We're going to go into procedures and see set my first property appears near the top. So we're going to take that, drop it in, and choose a different value, say 2. Then we'll go back to the billy goat and we'll have him say something. For example, hello. Click on that, go down to hello plus, and then see how there's this whole number value? We can actually go down to there and we can choose my first property. So uh, you kind of have to go through a few menus, but you can actually access it. So now if we click on it and we run it, he says hello and then he says 2 because we set the property value to 2. If we change this, say, to 3, run it again, he'll say hello 3. So whatever value we have set for my first property, he's going to say hello and then whatever that value is. But that's not all we could do. Let's say we want him to turn. We can drop that in, have him turn uh, left, and then say by quarter. But then click on this quarter, go down to whole decimal number, choose new decimal number, and look, we can access my first property.
So right now we have it set to three, so that means he's going to turn three complete turns he'll, to the left. So if we go run, he'll say hello three, and then he turns three times. If we change this number to one, he'll say hello one and turn one time. If we change this number to zero and run it, he'll say hello zero and won't turn at all, or turn zero degrees, zero times. So now you see we've created a property uh, in the scene, we added a character, we set the property by going to this, and then we accessed that property by adding in blocks of code procedures and clicking on them and finding where that property was located. So using the information from this video you should be back up to speed with using properties and plugging them into your programs uh, to uh, make your programs better. So hopefully this was helpful and I will talk to you next time in another Alice 3 tutorial.